In the year 2020, some 8 billion people will be living on our planet, 2 billion more than today, and all these people must be fed. In the fight to safeguard harvests and their quality for everyone's benefit, crop protection products will play an increasingly crucial role in the future. The road taken by such a product before it reaches the market is a long one, involving eight to ten years of intensive research and development. In future, it'll perhaps take even longer. With increasing environmental awareness, we are making more stringent demands on crop protection products. Ideally, they must be effective and selective in the smallest possible doses. They must eliminate pests and protect beneficial creatures. They must decompose as quickly as possible so that residues don't turn up in our food or pollute the environment. They must also be safe and easy for the farmer to apply. The work starts at Bayer's Agriculture Centre in Mornheim, one of the largest industrial research facilities of its kind in the world. The first hurdle for a newly identified test substance is the Biological Research Department. Every year, this department synthesizes and tests almost 25,000 chemical compounds for efficacy against plant pests. Firstly, in the laboratory. And then, in preliminary field trials. At the same time, toxicologists begin in-depth investigations which continue for years. Their aim? To detect any toxic effects on humans or animals, so risks are kept as low as possible. But that's not all. Ecobiologists examine all the possible effects of a substance on the creatures living in our environment to ensure that there's no long-term impairment of biodiversity. This applies even to sensitive microorganisms that live in the soil and water. In the meantime, residue analysts search for traces of the test substance in freshly harvested and processed crops, in soil, in ground and surface water, and even in the air. Metabolism experts use safe radioactive labeling techniques to investigate every substance further. Into which chemical building blocks do they break down or are decomposed by microorganisms? Are they a danger to people or the environment? In parallel, formulation technicians search for the best way to apply the future crop protection product. And process engineers develop a cost-effective and environmentally compatible production method. These hurdles have been the downfall of many promising substances. Those are the main aspects of research and development. But crops such as coffee and cocoa, cotton and bananas don't grow in Germany. So Bayer has set up agriculture centers and experimental stations in other parts of the world as well. Substances that prove promising in initial field trials in Mornheim undergo further tests in Kansas City, for example, on native crops. Any substances that might prove effective for crops in the Far East are tested at Bayer's agriculture center in Yuki. The main focus here is rice, the staple food in Japan and many other Asian countries. The road to a fully researched and developed crop protection product is a long one, that just one in every 46,000 substances survives. <laughs>